welcome to my channel. I am a budget mama based in the UK and my little family of three is working to a cash budget to help keep control of our finances. Today's video I'm going to be stuffing our child benefit. We get paid this every four weeks. It's £87.20. p. I withdraw um, 85 of it and the other £2.20 goes into my daughter's ISA. Just for round numbers really. So the first thing I'm going to do is apologise for all of the noises coming from the kitchen. Um, my husband is very kindly doing the washing up. It's very late and he's doing the washing up and some laundry for me which is very very helpful and thoughtful. He's doing it with his headphones on so he doesn't kind of hear and I don't get quite awkward and nervous and stuff, I don't know. Uh, but it does mean that he can't hear when he's making noise. So there's going to be like stuff happening in the kitchen um, and our washing machine's going as well so if you hear that whirring I apologise, um, it's just it's just life really. Um, <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take out all of the money that's left from the last four weeks. Um, we, ooh, we did a few activities um, we we went on our first bus ride, um, not not out of any kind of plan or anything. But one morning she said that she wanted to go to a playgroup and we didn't have the car that day. So I thought about it and I panicked about it and I thought, well, we could get the bus. And she was very excited and then I had second thoughts because the idea of taking a toddler on the bus is just, mm. um but she was very good, she was very well behaved, she really enjoyed being on the bus. She chatted to all the old people. Um, so we went to playgroup, uh, she played with other kids, she stole a lot of children's toys. Um, she's not, she, with being like a Covid child, that sounds awful doesn't it? Um, she's not been terribly well socialised with the children, uh, so she doesn't quite know how to share. Um, she doesn't go to the nursery yet, we don't get the free childcare until next year. Um, so the only interaction she has with the children is things like playgroups and playgrounds and yeah she's not, she's not big on sharing. At the playgroup she thought that, she thought that the toys were hers uh, and if somebody tried to play with one of her toys she'd run, run, full pelt from the other side of the playgroup and just launch herself onto the toy that she thought was hers so that the other child couldn't play with it. It's it's something that we need to work on and we are doing that. <laughs> anyway, apologies. Uh, so there was a little bit of money left out of day trips and activities and stuff. Um, clothing, we only had three pounds left. That's because I bought a lot of Christmas stuff. I'm so sorry I'm using the C word and it's November. It's more acceptable than doing it in October, I suppose. But one of our charity shops was having, um, they had like a sale rail of Christmas stuff. Um, I am going to show you a few bits because they're so cute. So we just got like tops and dresses and, and jumpers and stuff. Um, probably far more than we needed. Most of them are just supermarket bits and bobs but there's the top with Santa and his reindeer on which was really cute. One of the jumpers is going to make her look like an elf. Oh how cute is she going to look in that? I need to get her a hat. <laughs> um, this one made me laugh because I just shouted to my husband, oh dear, and he looked over and I showed him this and he, he chuckled so that one had to come home and she liked it. I like that the antlers are leaves. Anyway. Uh, this one. This one's got a reindeer butt. It's also got a reindeer butt. Oh, and that made me laugh. Uh, this one's just a basic Merry Christmas, which could be pyjamas if not a, a daytime thing. This one is very appropriate for my daughter. Dear Santa, I can explain. There are a lot of things she needs to explain to Santa this year. And then this one is gonna be her Christmas day dress. 
because it's just so stinking cute and it's got reindeers all over it. Oh, I'm so excited. I am in a Christmassy mood very early this year. Normally I don't get Christmassy until December, but this year, I think because we're having to plan and think ahead, I'm having to think about it super early. And I don't know. I think also because she's going to enjoy it more this year than she, like she understands more and she's excited about seeing Santa and yeah. So I'm quite excited for Christmas. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I'm rambling. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so there was a bit left in clothes, toys. We got a lot of sticker books this week, uh, like the sticker activity books, because Aldi has uh, some of the branded ones. They had Peppa Pig and Hey Dougie, um, and they were supposed to be reduced, but some of them weren't scanning reduced, and I didn't want to make a big fuss at the till. Um, but yeah, the sticker book, I mean, that's the main bit that she enjoys doing in like the magazines and stuff. For the, so for the price of one magazine, we got three of these sticker activity books and they've got like the sticker puzzles and matching games and spot the differences and all sorts. Anyway, uh, so I don't know, there's a couple of quid left out of toys and then shoes. What did we get? Oh, we got some new wellies, I think. Uh, finally, got her some new wellies that actually fit because she's got giant, yes, wellies, because she's got giant feet. Um, and yeah, her old wellies had started leaking as well, so I don't know why I'm closing these. Um, so we finally got her some wellies to fit and she loves them because they're mermaid wellies so there's 14 left out of shoes super so we'll pop that in her tray in a minute not tray jar thing the savings thing where I put the money that's left over um so I need to I always get confused with these videos because my other like my weekly videos I do them every week I remember what I've said and these videos I get confused because it's been so long since I've done them uh, so I think we were putting 30 into day trips if I remember rightly if it doesn't add up we'll come back and adjust because um, that is covering uh, swimming and also things like soft play, play group, stuff like that. And now, apparently, bus trips. Um, but the fact that she was so well behaved makes me quite feel quite positive because I feel like we can go further so we could travel to another town during the day and she's really not needing a nap every day either now. Um, so I feel like we could do more. Um, you know, we could, we could even, if she's all right on the train, she might be okay on, wait, no, if she's all right on a bus, she might be all right on a train. So we could possibly go to the seaside, maybe not now, because the weather's awful, but you know what I mean? I'm feeling quite positive. Anyway, um, it's felt a little bit, hmm, it's felt a little bit claustrophobic kind of not having a second car like when we had her we did have two cars and I did do kind of day trips and stuff with her uh, when she was tiny and it was easy because she was just in a pram or a car seat um but then when lockdown hit we figured what's the point of having two cars on the road so we kind of sawned one and stopped insuring it just put it on the driveway um and it kind of never got used again. So we've been making do with just one car for a couple of years now. Um, and it has slowly started to feel a little bit, a little bit more challenging. Um, so having the freedom to kind of do day trips and stuff on public transport, I know it's not as cheap as just petrol, but then a car isn't just the petrol, it's the insurance and the MOT and the service and stuff. So 
you know and I think most places we don't pay for her to go on the bus or the train anyway so yeah we can do anyway what I'm saying is that we can go further and do more day trips so that is I'm gonna shop okay so toys 20 went into toys pretty sure pretty sure it was 20 um and then shoes definitely needs the 20 because uh she's only actually got two pairs of shoes that fit currently one of them is the new pair of wellies the other is a bloody gorgeous pair of dot martins that she got for christmas last year from my sister um and they're bright reds and they're just they're fabulous but they're because they are gorgeous we don't want her kind of ruining them and wearing them every day so we do need some boots or shoes or trainers or something for her for the winter so 20 in shoes and we've got five left over which i don't remember where that went um Eh, we we spend the most from day trips and activities, so we'll whack it in there. Sort it. So they are all paid into. Uh, pop that over there. We had a little bit of money left over. Let's count it, and I'll be back in a minute. So that leaves us with. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18 pounds and 37 pence and that is going to go into her jar. So this is anything that we don't spend from her child benefit on a weekly basis goes into her big jar and this is kind of her gifts jar for things like Christmas and birthdays. Uh, so currently, ooh, so that's from this week. Currently we've got 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, so 75, 76, 77, 57 I think is what I counted. So 77, 57 plus 18 something, I can totally add. Anyway, uh, so that gives us something like £95 and change in her gift fund. Um, so that's that's a good chunk of change. And I mean, the fact that we have been able to save that amount of cash just from her child benefit that would have previously been kind of blown on stuff definitely makes me feel like this is working for us. Um, so, I mean, the purpose of these videos about the child benefit is really just to show what we're doing and, yeah, it's working for us. It might not work for you, but that's fine. You do you. I will do me. So I think last time I mentioned that we were looking to get a, what did I say we were going to get? Oh, we were looking at possibly getting a tablet for her. Um, that is still something that we would probably look to get. But one of the things she asked this week when we were at uh, Playgroup, she said she wanted one of the unicorn bounce on hopper things, like a space hopper, but shaped like a unicorn. And she desperately wants one of those. So I'm thinking that maybe we need to ask Santa for that. She's not really understood Christmas the last couple of years. Obviously, she's been very little. Um, but this year might be the first year we have to decide what we're doing with Santa. We're definitely not going to say that Santa is bringing everything because that's just going to give her unrealistic expectations. Um, so I think what we're currently settling on at the moment is maybe the stocking, like the little bits and bobs in the stocking, and maybe one or two you know, bigger things but cheap things that won't fit in the stocking, maybe they come from Santa and then like the main gift and a few other more expensive gifts come from mum and dad. Um, we're definitely, I mean, every year we've made sure that everybody, even if it's just like each household gets something from her, we're, we're trying to get her into the habit of gifting. Because um, I think so many kids are a little bit entitled you know they feel like they should get lots of stuff and yet they don't think about other people they don't put in the effort for, for other people 
um so she's already picked a couple of things that just i just take her to the charity shop up the road and say okay pick something for nanny pick something for granddad and she will pick the most atrocious ornament you've ever seen <laughs> i'll try and find a picture of one of them that she tried to pick for granddad's birthday and it was this god awful crocodile thing it was obviously homemade and somebody probably put a lot of time and effort into it but it just it was like a crocodile in a dress i don't know i'll find it it was horrific um in fairness it might have been funny to give it to him but we did we i talked her out of that and into something else slightly more respectable that he could show people when they came round instead of hiding in the cupboard anyway so that's everything sorted um thank you for sticking around and listening to my rambling and showing you my random charity shop finds as always i love hearing what you're doing with your kids what are you doing with christmas what are you doing about santa um if you've got kids kind of toddler age how do you explain you know that they're getting stuff but they can't have everything that they want it's it's a challenging one isn't it as always if you've watched my previous videos and you've been here for a while thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos to like comment subscribe all of that good stuff if you're new do consider subscribing so that you can catch up with all of my videos in the future um, and if this is the first video you're seeing check out my weekly videos where I go through our budget and savings and ramble on in most of my videos let's face it uh, but I will catch up with you in the next video guys take care and happy budgeting